Getting up to par with the International Fire and Building Code, Senator Dennis Rodriguez has introduced Bill 97 relative to an additional option for egress sizing under those codes. The issue initially brought up during the previous legislature. Rewind to August of last year when Senator Tom Adda introduced legislation to amend the law. Senator Rodriguez explained that the late Alfred Israel brought forth his concerns about one of his buildings, the Dusitani Guam Resort. Adda's bill, now law, updated the codes and changed the definition for automatic sprinkler systems, the use of tiki torches, and adjusted the numbers for egress sizing. However, Rodriguez says both the Department of Public Works and the Guam Fire Department agree that the amendments cause problems for some establishments because the law only refers to all new construction. The late um, Al Israel, Mr. Al Israel, came to, to the legislature and asked us to look at the law. Um, he, one of his properties um, was going through some uh, problems in, in the permitting, specifically with the fire department and DPW. Last August, Israel expressed concern because his new building did not meet the current building codes, stating that GFD could only allow for occupancy of 640 people, when the Dusatani Convention Center was intended to hold 1,500. Acting Fire Chief Darren Burrier. Their uh, ballroom is uh, rated at a, around a 1,500, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, occupancy load and their egress uh, situation didn't allow for the egress of the number of people needed under the uh, previous fire code. Okay, So the 2015 fire code has a, has a slightly different uh, calculation for occupancy load for egress and exits. And applying that to it allows them to get an increased amount of occupancy for their ballrooms. Some have questioned the legislation and whether its introduction is of special interest for the Dusatani, but Rodriguez explained it's much more than that. There are people that, that have said uh, it's a special interest, but a, a lot of the things that we do come up from the, the input and concerns that are brought to us by constituents. We don't just do things without ensuring that um, the public's health, welfare and safety um, is, is compromised. So we want to make sure that doing this does not compromise that. While Rodriguez defends the bill, acting Fire Chief Burrier concurs that if it is in special interest, it's in the interest of the community. This is a bill uh, that would be of a special interest for the community, for all businesses on Guam, and also would help the economy of Guam because of the growing um, population of special functions on this island, where there's more of a demand for a higher occupancy of the ballrooms. The bill also outlaws the use of sky lanterns, which have been growing in popularity for special events, but nevertheless officials say a hazard that could easily cause grass or structural fires. Bill 97 is up for public hearing at the Guam Congress building tomorrow morning at 8.30. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Valerie Maigan.